Welcome to Get Heavy Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is. A uh, quick couple things before we get started. Check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash get heavy podcast. One dollar a month gets you in the door. Early access to episodes and bonus content. Rate, subscribe, follow, and review the podcast on all audio outlets. Uh, it really does help. Check out the YouTube. Hit that notifications bell, subscribe button. Doesn't mean shit to you, but it means a lot to me. And check out the merch, localshop.com slash good heavy podcast. We got new merch dropping soon. I appreciate everyone that supported so far. Also, go ahead and give us a call on the Get Heavy Hotline, 805 666 2314. And uh, you can leave your weird story, message, answer the question of the week, uh, rates, reviews, fucked up shit, send your memes, texts, voicemails, whatever you want. Uh, know that it will maybe used on the podcast if it is good. Having said all that, enjoy the episode. Get Heavy Podcast, hosted by Craig Gonzalez. No, no, I'm going to need another beer. <laughs> I, b- I brought a bottle up here this time. Oh, I there you go. No. No. No fun. No fun, dude. <clears throat> what, what brought that on? What? Just ah, I just fucking... Much, just... Tired of being fat, dude. That was it. I know, it's not working. Else in the world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's actually worsening it. <laughs> I just don't... Now I'm not waking up with the guilt after eating. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, so, yeah. It's, like, it's actually not working at all. Six dude. hot dogs at three <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, I got to fucking I'm getting on it this week, dude. You know, holidays and shit, Thanksgiving coming up, you fucking yeah, you start to tell yourself, ah, I'll start after yeah. Thanksgiving, yeah. yeah. But then Christmas will be here in 2 weeks. Oh, dude. And that'll be a fucking nightmare too, you know. It's a little easier for me. Yeah. I Is fucking it? hate the holidays. Oh, you I thought you just accepted that you're going to be fat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, around your age. <laughs> yeah, is that what it was? Yeah. Is that all it yeah. took? <clears throat> Can you hear me? God, these things are nice. They're much better, huh? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So are the microphones. Microphones are stellar. Yeah. They're they're <clears throat> working out a lot better, dude. Yeah. I'm I'm stoked on them. What's up, bud? Nothing, man. Out here living the dream. Are you? Doing it. Yeah, having a great good. day. It's a beautiful day, man. It is. Actually. I love when it's cold like this. Do you? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah, get out there on the motorcycle and go on way too fast because the motor's running beautifully and mm. you know something about that cool air fucking oh. really helps it huh keeps that v-twin cool Ooh, yeah. yeah i love it yeah yeah man that's nice um well let's see what were we going to talk about tonight oh i went to see kevin hart that was amazing yes dude you i wish you would have went to that one man I, I I thought about you being there. Yeah. I really did, man. I swear to God, I <laughs> yeah. was like, man, this motherfucker. Oh, dude, I couldn't believe. So the tickets went on sale, and I think the whole weekend sold out within two hours. Minutes, yeah. You know what I mean? So I, as I was checking out, uh, it was Jesse, that, Jesse that yeah. was on the pod. He was the one that posted the link, and I'm like, what the fuck? I thought it was like fake. You know what I mean? I click on it. I'm like, oh shit, he's coming to Oxnard, like Liberty Live, dude. What the fuck? And so, uh. Yeah, dude, we went, fucking. I took my mom out for her birthday. Is today actually, uh, but took her, bought some, her and her husband some tickets, and fucking me and Rosie and them went and did. It was awesome, man. I mean, to see him in that small of a place. Cause, I mean, arenas and shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Like he's yes. so fucking big, um, and he's building an hour right. So <clears throat> it was really cool because he he came out like his. He had his his guys do some opening shit the, you know what i mean was it they called the, the red, red cup, cup crew yeah red yeah, cup boys yeah, or yeah, something yeah. like that and they're all pretty funny you know yeah. what i mean uh but when he came out dude it was like i i've never seen someone that famous you know what i mean like rogan i've seen is up there right yeah you know but like that's rock level famous shit like and well, i don't get insane i don't get starstruck really i mean it yeah. would have been i didn't meet him or nothing but it's like it's a trip to see someone that fucking famous. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that close. And we were in the front, not the front row, but the next table's back. We were really fucking close. You know what I mean? 
uh, waited for a solid hour in line in front to get in. But um, it was fucking so cool, dude. I mean, he was hilarious first, but he came out and he was like, I'm going to tell you guys right now, you better lower your expectations. Because <laughs> he, he was like, look, I'm building an hour. He explained exactly what he was doing. It was yeah. a really cool way to see a process like that because uh, he's all 60% of this is totally on point. 40% of this is uh, fucking iffy, you know? And I'm not going to give away any of, of his bits or anything, um, but they were, I mean, every fucking premise was so good, dude. I, you, I, know? you know, it's it's crazy because <clears throat> if you follow comedy, you understand. But if you don't follow comedy, people don't understand that these guys don't just come up with an hour special in a month. Right, right. They go out and they build their special and they work on their jokes and mm. they do all these different things to make stuff happen. Right. So that they can fine tune their hour. So mm. in a year, maybe two years, yeah, exactly. depending, you know, that you have a solid, solid hour of material that's hilarious from start to finish. Right. But in that that <gasps> year of building up that time who knows what's going to come out. Right. And that's yeah. where these people that like to get out there and try to cancel you and oh, get sure. the camera up yeah. there so that they can get you messing up a line on something that you're trying to figure out and trying to get the premise right. right. And maybe it's not quite right. And maybe you flub something, but it right. gives them that, that opportunity to, yeah. to, you know, and it was cool. Cause the way he did it, he really let everyone in on the process. Like yeah. not that he was taking suggestions or anything, but like, for him to be, because I I know how he, I've heard him talk about how he builds his his sets and it's like he'll work small clubs and that's a I mean that was a pretty big club but for him it's small, so he'll do small clubs for eight six yes. eight months. Yep. Then he'll move into theaters, work that shit in theaters for a while. Then he'll move into the arenas. You know what I mean? So it's like a year and a half, almost two year process. You know. Yep. <clears throat> and I know he released that one in COVID during at his house. You know. Did you watch it? I did. It wasn't the funniest. It I was horrible. I think we've talked about it a little bit, but we did. I think we did. Oh, did okay. we yeah, mentioned maybe, it once? Yeah. But um, it was it was horrible. <clears throat> yeah, you didn't like it. Now. No, it was boo boo. Yeah. It was. I turned it off. It was horrible. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I couldn't. It just wasn't funny. Right. And I think it wasn't funny because I he obviously didn't do he couldn't do couldn't the do thing, the yeah. you know yeah. And I think he just was like, let me try to put something out there to, you right. know, which you know, I, it. it Good yeah. on you. I mean, he gave it an effort to give it a try, but yeah. I don't. You know, and they had you know. some funny bits in it. You know what I mean? But yeah, you know, it I mean, wasn't I, my I favorite. still call it the vid. <clears throat> the vid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. I, I thought that was that was the best part of the whole thing. Was yeah. I like the term? But it was cool, man. He played almost two hours, like just fucking you really know, going over shit. And like I see, he really was right. About sixty percent of it was fucking hilarious, like dying out of your seat, hilarious. And then, yeah. The forty of it was like literally he'd be like, ah, fucking maybe this, I don't, you know, like yeah, just try working, a looking at a premise out, you know to I mean? yeah. It was like it was a cool process to see because you never get to see that, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, as far as it goes, like especially on that guy, you know. It's, uh, it, it, I think personally that <clears throat> unless you're willing to actually stand on stage mm-hmm. and take that chance. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, totally. Like, seriously, man. 100%. If man. you're, you know, sitting in your house and you're just watching these videos looking for something or you go into the club mm-hmm. not to just relax and, and have a couple cocktails and hang out with your friends and, and have a good time. Right. And, like, maybe it's funny, maybe it's not, but whatever, it's whatever. I just respect the fact that you're willing to get up on stage oh, and work on something and put your heart into something. <laughs> Jesus you know, Christ. if you... I got your fucking thing, I, I do. God damn it! <laughs> as fast as the piece of shit. I fucking day after you left, I started fucking getting shit in my chest. I <laughs> almost died. Well, I told you to swallow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> rude. <laughs> you told me after. It was fucking. You rude. know, it was in your beard. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, the fact that these people that do criticize and and to know, like, you, I don't. Do, I've never done the stage stuff like you've done. Right. But I love a microphone. Yeah, totally. And I love doing karaoke. Mm-hmm. I like if you give me any opportunity to get in front of it and talk shit and try to make people laugh, I'm down. Yeah. Y- but you that's know, so but different the, than a stand up oh, setting. Or even like when you realize that most of these guys start off like five minutes is a long set a long when you set. first start. Yeah, totally. Dude. You know, and and I look at it like I can do five minutes, man. I can come up with yeah. some. Yeah. But I still haven't done it. Exactly. You know, right. I haven't yeah, hit there's a lot of open mic. mics around yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Well, no, there's yeah. not. There's a couple. Where? Yeah. Fatty Vegan does one um every Thursday. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they do open mics over there. And then huh. there's another 
Fatty so, Vegan, that's over there off of... Yeah, Borchard. Borchard, right there yeah. by Big Lots. Fatty yeah. Vegan. Yeah, yeah exactly. Great anyway. little restaurant. Yeah. Vegan. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, but they do one. Anyway, uh, I have all the confidence in the world on stage. Yeah. Like, I've seen playing, it. It's awesome. But it's different, right? Yeah. Like, I, I feel... If I, my band were to play on any size stage, I, I obviously I'd be nervous, you know, it's in front of a massive crowd. But I'm still going to do it. And I'm going to act exactly as if it was a small fucking club. Yeah. Now, if you take my guitar away from me and the rest of my band and I have to stand up there with a microphone and fucking entertain, it terrifies me. You know what I mean? And I've always wanted to do it. You know what I mean? It's always been a secret. I had a, a teacher at 19 or when I was uh, uh, I was 17, just about to be 18 in, in high school. Oh, no, I was actually 18 my whole senior year because I am I failed first grade. Short story really yeah. fucking long. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but he pulled me aside. He was like a comedian. You know, he was. He was a comedian. He would do fucking sets and shit. And he pulled me aside and he goes, dude, you should do it. I'm yeah. Like, You're out of your fucking mind. Dude. You know what I mean? And I blew it off like completely. You know? And I always regretted not trying it back then, but not that it would have done anything. But it's not too late, man. I You're do have, young. I have like plenty of stage presence, but in a very specific setting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if you took the guitar away from me, I don't know, dude. Like it's you, fucking you know, so I've, scary. I've, I've emceed like <laughs> so roadshow and dude. like, uh, not roadshow. I've, I've emceed surf yeah. rodeo and, you know, I'm I'm standing in front of a lot of people. Yeah, just yeah. and it's a saying. It's not easy. Yeah, like I'm. But the goal saying, of that is to not make everyone laugh the whole time, right? I mean, it's like you're no, there to convey something, and no, you're going to do what you're doing. This is do. two people talking that can do it. Yeah, we are a very small minority of people. Right. I don't know a whole lot of people that are going to go. Okay, yeah, no, give me the microphone. I'll stand up there in front of right. 10,000 people and start talking the about the yeah. try it. Is yeah. Wild, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, and yeah. I don't think nothing about it. Yeah. You, I don't know. You man. know, it just fucking, it's a, it's an art that is like, I, so I, I saw videos, man. What's up guys. This week's podcast is sponsored by the garage bar, 1091 Scandia Avenue, Ventura, California, a beautiful spot, a new spot. If you want drinks, if you want good vibes, you want good times, you want a bunch of cool fucking people, bartenders that know what they're doing, that can actually make decent cocktails uh, run by decent humans. This guy right here, Jay, hit him with the specials. So on Monday, we do industry night. On Tuesday, we're doing taco Tuesdays with trivia. Bring a group of friends by, come hang out, have a good time, get a good deal on tacos, three tacos and a beer for 10 bucks. You can't beat that. Wednesday, we have Blues, ran by Randy Marin. You can give him a call. Look us up on our social media, the Garage Bar Ventura. You can get the information there to check it out. Thursdays, we're just hanging out and chilling. We've got stuff going on. Come by and see what's happening. Fridays, we're going to be starting karaoke this weekend. We're going to have karaoke at the Garage Bar now. And then on Saturdays, we're starting with different live bands, and we're working on doing stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun and funky reggae, light music, fun stuff. Something you can bring your mama to. So Sundays, we got me, DJ also, Clark bringing it up in the back end because that's what Clark likes to do. Uh, we do Soul Sundays. We got Karina's next door to us doing a good brunch burger and different specials for uh, food. And you can swing by and grab some food from them, come out next to us and get a couple cocktails, hang out, start your Sunday right. Again, all our social media is the Garage Bar Ventura. We really appreciate you guys coming by and hope to see you soon. All right. Enjoy the episode of your halloween performance <laughs> well obviously Dude, yeah that was exceptional <laughs> yeah if you guys haven't seen the videos please do <laughs> yourself on, a favor they're on go facebook. check them out they're on facebook mm -hmm. they are great yeah it is awesome man. but that's was... in a certain thing right i mean i knew what your i was doing I, my comfort level up there is fine yeah but now if it's telling jokes like totally it's different fucking, it, it, it freaks me out dude like understandable like i'm you know imagine telling the joke and then <laughs> like, no one laughs you know what i mean you're like this crickets dude you'd want to die you know you'd want to fucking die you know what i mean Mo a little bit at least if you give a shit now if you're drunk up there fucking trying it because you want to try it it may not fucking matter you know but yeah, I told it's, a a, joke. it's a wild thing uh, like, stand-up comedy is a fucking wild thing to try i told a joke recently and I really wasn't telling a joke, but I was with a group of people that mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I told a joke that uh, I didn't really realize how <clears throat> racial it was. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't good, dude. 
Not Please at all. Please don't tell it here. No, I won't. I'm not, I, I, I'll never. <laughs> and it wasn't. It was something that happened to me in my youth. Oh right. And yeah. it. I. I was at a park, and I was with my best friend at the time, and he was a black guy, and mm-hmm. we were in Lemwood Park in Oxnard, and we're standing there, and we're both the same age. We both go to the same school. We're both like. Right. And those cops were not talking to me at all. Yeah. And uh, they were harassing him. Mm -hmm. And so I said something about it. Mm -hmm. And so they promptly smacked me across the back with a nightstick. Right. Okay. And I promptly was like, hey, man, have at him. (laughs) You're on your own. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You know, like, go ahead. (laughs) Like. I'll take one I'll, smack for you. That's that, it. I'm not even. I, I regretted taking that one smack for him. That shit hurt, man. Oh, dude, dude yeah. I mean it. It really woke me Those up. Those batons real quick. really. Oh, really. Dude, they're, it they're thick, dude. Not, I used it, to have one. It, it was fucking awesome. Checked me for years. You know, <laughs> yeah. I still will not let a cop get behind me. You know, yeah. I don't feel comfortable. I'm, I'm not even worried about it anymore. <laughs> yeah. But if they start to walk behind me, you'll yeah. see me shuffle around. So I'm like, hey, man. I don't yeah. want to be behind yeah, you. Man. You don't want to be behind me. We're good. Let's keep eye contact. Well, that you know? story went in a way different way than oh, I thought it was going to go. Well, <laughs> you know, the the it wasn't exactly presented the correct. Good. It, it yeah. didn't work out very well. Yeah, but it's weird. But like Holy uh, shit, dude. I, I It fucking haunts me every day. It's crazy. Yeah. You know? It's fucking weird, man. I mean, especially with jokes. You know what I mean? Well, it's like, terminology. Right. You know? You know, it's just how you say it. Right. Get, it, it just yeah. you know and that's you know how it came out didn't work out right right you, yeah. you know and bad delivery oh dude <laughs> yeah and it fucking haunts me every day but rather than yeah. booing they hit you with something no they just stopped talking to me oh okay all right there you go period yeah, yeah. and i'm like man fuck i just didn't it didn't come out right <laughs> Yeah, you know we've all made we've all done shit like that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, but we're not allowed to. <clears throat> you're not allowed to make mistakes anymore, man. And that's one of the things that fucking drives me nuts. Yeah, it bums you. You're out. not allowed to make mistakes. And I'm not just talking about me. I, you know, I made a lot of mistakes when I was younger. But we didn't have cameras. Mm-hmm. You know, we didn't have people telling us, "Look, man, you can't say anything." Right. You just right. said it and then dealt with the consequences. Right. You know, and and. The consequences might be somebody like realizing what you're doing and and growing into this stuff and learning Mm -hmm. as a young man, like, oh, you know, that's not cool. Right. You know, and that's something that we continually learn every day. We work on that stuff as as men that really want to be a part of the society in a positive way. We work on this stuff constantly, Mm -hmm. you know, but you're not, nobody's given that opportunity anymore. And you're just getting to the point where you're just like, uh, I'm just going to sit here. I mean, I'm not. I'm, I'm yeah. never going to sit quietly yeah, in the corner, yeah. but like you, like, like these comedians, like Kevin Hart getting up there or when Louis CK has gone up there right, right. or, you know, everybody except that dude from Kramer, <gasps> that dude from Kramer. Can oh, fucking that guy fucking earned that one, dude. Fucking into him. <laughs> dude. That fucking he was moron, like the first dude. guy that oh. got canceled, huh? I was thinking I mean, about that the other day, dude. Like, but that was a rough one, dude. Dude, that's uh, hard to He lost back. his mind. Oh, he lost. Yeah. Fucking, he lost yeah. everything. You know? Yeah. But Lou, like. Like look what like Louis C.K. didn't really do too much, man. Yeah, y- you know, and when you really look at what happened, it's creepy. It, yeah, but it's so creepy. What? You know, dude, you look at me creepy all the time. I'm not trying to cancel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I just zip have, up my yeah. pants. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Yeah. You know, but you people are not allowed to be forgiven anymore because people are just willing to just jump up there and go, and they enjoy it. Mm-hmm. They enjoy. Trying to get somebody canceled, and it's not okay. They're doing exactly what they're trying oh, to yeah. say they're stopping. You're right. not stopping nothing. You're perpetuating the same thing. Totally. Have yeah. conversations, figure it out. Let's get past no one's it and do this. Anything. But that's no yeah. man. Yeah. You know, the, everybody's just trying to to run their agenda, whatever that agenda is, and yeah. and their agenda is the most righteous, whichever way it goes. It's a delicate balance, dude. That's why hats off to comedians for figuring Love out them. the way to fucking say the things that everyone kind of wants to say or you know and i'm not saying anything like that can be canceled just like it anything you know what i mean when it talk about relationships you, life you, whatever you, you know what I mean? schultz yeah oh yeah of course yeah yeah that dude yeah he says some oh my shit. god you know what though he gets away with it though because because he's he's educated about it 
No, because his fucking fan base is everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I've yeah. heard him talk about it before. He's all, I don't feel good saying anything that I do if that they're not in the room. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, 100%. you know, and that makes 100%. sense to me. Like, one hundred percent. If everyone's in the room together and we're all fucking talking trash, then it's it's fine. It's different, you know. Now, I, what, I, if it's one hundred percent, if I'm like fucking with a whatever, you know, and it's not all of his shit's racial or anything, but you know, say he's talking about fucking a demographic people or whatever. Do, all do, if they're not in the fucking his, room. Do you see his? Yeah, I watched it today, man. It was so good. Do you see his? What? Grab him in the pussy thing? No, I didn't see. Oh. No. <laughs> no, I didn't. For but, you uh, guys, if you haven't watched it, it's on YouTube. <laughs> it's yeah. Andrew Schultz. Andrew Schultz. And it's good. his uh, just grab him in the pussy, and it's about billionaires and all this different thing. Oh. Okay. It is hilarious, yeah, man. Yeah. It is so – did you see it? I, I think I did see it, actually. Oh, yeah. It was very I, funny. I had to stop what I was doing and sit down yeah. and watch it yeah. twice because it was so well – like, he does all that stuff off the cuff. Right. And it goes back to, like – like being able to do that, man, is just such yeah, an it's excellent. Wild. Like Kevin Hart's another one. Like you, I don't care what he's doing. The dude's funny. Yeah. Literally, at one point, and I'll, the only thing I'm going to say that he said was one point in the fucking thing. The only line he said was, "I like pumpkins," and it fucking everyone almost died. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, is the way he said it in the context at which he was talking, and it was the only words that he yelled out of his mouth. He's like, "I like pumpkins." <laughs> <laughs> it was like the everyone was crying like yeah. you know what i mean it was like such a fucking awesome experience to see like you know just how delicate that shit is you know what i mean like when you're building it you know and and i i'm a guy that likes to work hard at things you know recording and playing music it's a fucking long process from the start to the finish you know what i mean i understand what it's like to build that shit but you know we just we put it out and there it is right you know what i mean like we don't have to deal with the audience reacting to us as we're making like like i, I think about it like it, yeah the, like the, as you're you've making been someplace it. where i know you've been oh, where yeah. you've gotten up on stage and you've played We've and you've had yeah. 30 people standing out there in front of you with oh, their yeah. arms folded staring at you going would you get off the fucking stage oh, yeah. or walking so we out can hear dude. wasp yeah you or know walking out yeah. like walking out dude. Yeah. like just yeah. straight like yeah. nope yeah. nope 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 yeah. That's fine. You know what I mean? But like imagine that for a year. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like up until you fucking yeah. get it done. Like as a musician, it's you're you're spoiled because you spend all this time together building and you create the best thing you can possibly do and you fucking release it and then, and then it is what it is. Yeah. You know, like the way the comedians build is like so wild to me, dude. Like Oh, and and the comedians like you're your Ron White, your Joe Rogans, your Kevin Hart, your Bill yeah. Burrs, your Tom Segura's, your Burt Crusher's, yeah. your Christina Pazinski's, your yeah, names, all of name, your, name all the comedians. I mean, well, we, all the high level ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, course, you, know, yeah. you know what I mean? We're yeah. not. You know, there's a bunch of them that are oh, yeah. still working at it. Right. You know, but the high level masters, mm -hmm. they go in there and they they can manage for the most part to get some funny in there, no matter what. Yeah. But then there's the guys that. Like they're in their town and they're funny, and yeah. then they go someplace else, yeah. and all of a sudden it's a little off, and they get hammered, mm -hmm. but they don't stop. Right. They get back up there and yeah. they do it again, and yeah. then they get and a lot of misses. Yeah, a lot and of those misses, misses they kill you. I bet, dude. You know I, mean? I like, couldn't like because it's like all the touring I've done in my life, I still remember every bad show. Yeah. More so than the great ones, even. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yep. and as a comedian, I could imagine it's like you, every bomb, you probably remember every fucking detail. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because there's been tours where we're, on, we're gone for six weeks and 98% of the shows were fucking great. Yep. And those all get blurred into this one memory, right? You might have some highlight standout moments, but that one show where you're like, it, it fucking sucked. I couldn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. And usually as a musician, you can blame it on the lack of promotion or crowd, you know, that whatever. kind of shit or whatever, yeah. like bad. You're, we're not supposed yeah. to be on this bill. doesn't fit musically, whatever. But sometimes you just play like dog shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> the energy is like, not there. And you, you just had a don't bad have day. it. And yeah. you fucking have an off night. And now your voice is fucked. You know what I mean? You're like, God damn, man. It's fucking... It, and it haunts you. It fucking haunts you, you know? Um, but it was great, dude. I mean, 
it, to be able to take my mom out to see something like that, she was so fucking ecstatic. You know, and I watched, um, we had just started watching. Have you seen his Kevin Hart's new show on Netflix? True Story? The one with um, where he's a, the he man? Plays a comedian? Yeah, yeah with I don't Wesley wanna... Snipes. Fuck. Have dude. you been watching that? No, I haven't yet. I've been oh saving my it. Oh, God, dude. I, I, Wesley Snipes, man. I love he is that, dude. incredible. I love he's that, He's incredible dude. in it. The Blade's one of the greatest it is, vampire movies it's one of ever made. Oh, absolutely, yeah. man. It's one of my favorites. That poor dude. I just watched it the other day, actually, Blade. Really? Yeah. It's fucking. Yeah. It's on one of the things. I Chris Christopherson. Dude, it's so good. Yeah. But his fucking, that show that just good. came out is unreal. Okay. It's, it's honestly like. I'm in. It's not funny at all. It is. Is it a series? It's a series, yeah. But it is fucking. Every single portion of it gets worse and worse. And it's like a, he plays like himself, essentially. He's like a world famous comedian, but he has a different name. You know, kind of like the level he's at now. And he gets himself into the situation that just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. Every fucking episode. And I, I'm at like episode six. And I can barely watch it. See, I'm like okay. stressing All right. out. All right. I, can't. I can't watch it before I go to bed. I, uh... And it's the most serious I've ever seen him. And it's probably, I mean, it's his greatest fucking role I've ever seen him in. You know what I mean? It, it is wild, dude. Like, just Wasn't cause... he in Pootie Tang? Yeah. I mean, I, was he? I don't, I don't... Oh, was he in Pootie Tang? It might, that Maybe might be I'm just assuming thing. that's yeah. racist. Yeah. I mean, that's next that's to Jim Lynch. shit right there. Was he in Soul Plane? <laughs> he must have been in Soul Plane. <laughs> He's a black guy, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I've seen him in Friday. Yeah, here, here Wasn't we are he the again. crackhead in Friday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know if he was in Pootie Tang, was he? I don't, I I'll think he had to a bit, man. That movie. If he wasn't, you're a he, racist oh, piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, either way. Yeah, one of the greatest movies ever made. That's a good one, man. Oh, dude, it's so But yeah, ridiculous. True Story is killing me right now. You, you, I, I will tell you that I had thought about watching it mm-hmm. and you did such a great job of describing it that I'll never watch it. It's it's I 100% can't. worth watching. No, I I can't do the I can't do that that whole feeling that you're talking about. Oh, it's fucking kills I, you, I know, but I can't I can't do yeah. it. I can't handle it no you more. You could cuz it's a it's a wild situation. It has nothing to do. You yeah. know what I mean like it's, 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 it's really worth watching. The, After the first episode, you'll be like, I need to watch another one. Last couple of years in my life have made it to where the only thing I will watch mm-hmm. is shit that's funny. Really? And it's got to be funny. I No dramas at all. Oh, really? No. Oh, I can't do it, man. Oh, wow. My, I mean, we've kind of touched on this, and, and, and most of you guys that, that have seen this know, I think, you know, could you guys listen to this and watch it for me, not Craig. So I get that. <laughs> Um, but after I, I lost my wife, um, April 8th of last year and, um, she was everything that I could ever imagine in a person. And she was my best friend and my wife. And I just never even thought that I would have that yeah. in my world. And I've never had had anything like that in my world ever. And since I lost her, Every day is an emotional roller coaster. Right. Like right. it's just always like you know I got a discount today at Kohl's because I cried in the register. <laughs> is that you know what I mean? Does that help? Do you understand? Does that make you know? Yeah, yeah, that happened. I did. I got thirty dollars off my bill. Yeah. Does he cry? Yeah. I was. I she was she sitting there talking to me and I'm in this beautiful situation with my daughter oh my and God. my daughter's boyfriend and. He has a four-year-old daughter mm-hmm. and that he just got custody of. Right. And Christmas, he gets her every Saturday, he gets her. Mm-hmm. And so all of a sudden, I'm like, her, my daughter and her boyfriend, they're going to be together. Like, they're, okay. they're fantastic That's together. Nice. Yeah. They've been together for a long time. They're super good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and so so I'm stoked. Like, I'm already like, hey, what? what is, is it? Is it, am I, am I big pops? Am I like, what is it? What is, what is yeah. my grandpa name? Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm She's just like, fucking poo-poo. excited. Yeah, probably, <laughs> yeah, totally. you know, but she'll be saying it in my lap happy, mm-hmm. you know, cause she's going to be a spoiled little turkey, but, mm-hmm. but so I, I, I went Christmas shopping for her today, mm-hmm. you know, and, and the only kid I have is my daughter. Right. Right. And 
when I had her, we would go Christmas shopping and stuff, but I was also working three jobs right. and I was broke still, right. you, you know, so Christmas shopping really was it's like, stress here, yeah. here's a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what we can get Let's her. Stretch it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But I'm not in that situation anymore. And like, I'm looking at little dresses and buying little <laughs> LOL surprise toys and <laughs> yeah. I'm all just ecstatic about it and I'm stoked. But at the same time. I'm really missing my wife because right. this is a kid that's at the age that my wife would just like, j- yeah. oh, she was amazing. Yeah. She just would, the kids would like, she's a goddess. So mm-hmm. when she walks into the room, the kids go, holy shit. What is yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know? And then she immediately would get down with them. So yeah. I'm done with everything and I'm all happy and stuff. But as I'm paying for everything and I'm standing at the register, mm-hmm. I started thinking about her. Yeah. And I was like, man, she would really dig this and this. She'd be here with me right now, and then all of a sudden, it's like it's just crying, crying, crying too. And the lady's looking at me, and I'm like, you know, I've I've had a rough couple years, you know, and and oh, I, I I lost my wife, and you know, normally I take a lot of anti anxiety pills before I do this stuff, and I didn't today, and and she's like, oh, okay, you know, and she's like, let me give you this little and. She's like, and, she's like, and <laughs> She gave me 30, 30 bucks off, off dude. Three. I'm going to yeah. cry at every yeah. register I ever walked in now, dude. Every fucking register. I, I don't care where I am, man. I'm going to fucking, I'm going to start crying, dude. That's the fucking, the white man's discount oh. is fucking start big fat bearded guy oh. cries at register. Oh dude. my God. Yeah, dude, it was, it was a bit much. I'm going to fucking, oh. I'm going to have an emotional breakthrough and figure out how to get some tears oh, out of here, good. dude. That's fucking wild, man. I, it's got to be so fucked up, man. I just, I can't. I can't even. Hey, look, I can't even fucking. We we it. live in an era and a time, and this is part of how I deal with this stuff. And 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 I work through it in many, 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 many ways. Right. You know, it's a constant. The fact that you can even talk about it, yeah, is fucking. Wild, well, it's you it's know? you know it it's it's. It's steps, you know, right. and, and, and part of the reason I talk to it is because I got to talk to other people that have been through it. And then I figure right. that if I talk about it, that maybe somebody will hear this and they'll understand and it can help them take that next step. And if, and if they need to, they can DM me on mm-hmm. Instagram or on Facebook and on, and I'll try to talk to you and share with you and help you out any way that I can, mm-hmm. because that's how we got to get through this stuff is together. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. um, wow. What, I was going somewhere. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. It's it's um, wild. It, it's a fucking yeah, wild thing. It's it's we're fortunate, and when we listen to people talk, and this is when we hear everybody complains, and and this is it's it's such a horrible time, and everything is so bad, and everything is so horrible, and mm-hmm. it's never been worse, and oh my god, the whole world's bad, and everybody's bad, and people are bad, and this is terrible, and this is bad. I, I've been very very blessed, and I think we all have. I've 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 lost my mom this year and I lost my wife last year. And, Mm -hmm. you know, um, that's really all. Yeah. I I mean, you know what I mean? Like my daughter's healthy. Yeah. My stepkids are healthy. My nephews and nieces and everybody around me for the most part is healthy. Right, Right. You know, my parents didn't have to have 10 kids hoping that six would live. I know. Right. You know, and about like the 20. Oh, or, or, you know, I, I was listening to, uh, listening to a, a book on tape about Daniel Boone mm-hmm. and just listening to like how that like that life. Yeah. Is. That life is like every day. <laughs> yeah. You're no, the you guy were ta- that you, you were talking just... to me the other day and you're all, can you imagine just getting in a fucking canoe and yeah. being like, I'm gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, nope. yeah. no, nope. yes. no, nope. and not no at all. idea at all where they're going, <laughs> where they're going dude. by themselves. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. not worried about if I have GPS on right. my phone yeah. so we I can drive my Jeep town, in there. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I hope they have an outhouse when I get there. Mm-hmm. None of that shit, man. It's insane. It's and so, fucking nuts. And it goes back to, and, and this is, it's, we have honestly, mm-hmm. even with COVID, mm-hmm. we have never, ever, ever, ever in history have we lived in a safer time. Totally. Yeah. School shootings, right. mass shootings, covid all of the stuff that's going on, we've right. never lived in a safer time and a better time. Right. You, you it know? is true. I mean, there's a there's a million things to complain about, and there's ten million things that are going right. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it just you have to choose what you're going to focus on, right? I mean, because I hear people say that shit to me all the time. Drives me nuts. You know, and it does because I think back to eight years ago when I was watching Rosie go through cancer, mm. and I here I am, mm. here I am with fucking a four year old and a two year old, and I'm like pretty sure my wife isn't going to die. 
but I don't know. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, and I, those times I think back on and go, that was fucked. You know what I mean? Like everything since that point on has been better. You know what I mean? In my life, you know, and there's going to be loss in the future that I'm not going to be able to deal with. And, you know, there's a lot of things that could happen. Right. But they fucking happen. Right. And, she, um, she was the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Right. Yeah. There's like not my daughter's a whole separate thing, yeah. but she made me see things that I never understood. Mm-hmm. She took me places. I never knew I could go. She made me just appreciate life and understand life and do things and under like mm-hmm. she was honestly, she's the best human yeah. I have ever met in my life. Period. Like right. she just was the purest, sweetest, kindest soul. Right. You know, and the one thing that I kind of just keep putting in there is right. like, what would she want me to do? Right. Like, right. would she want me to lock myself in a bedroom and turn into a hermit alcoholic druggie? Or right. would she want me to continue to live life right. like we lived life? Right. Exactly. You know, and that's what. Yeah. It's all we can do. Yeah, it's all you can do. You know, know and again, I mean, you know, if you have something, you know, where you would like to DM me or something like that, I'm there, you know, and, and, and I'll do what I can. And if, if I can't do something, I'll do what I can to direct you to somebody that can, but you know, times are hard and times are rough, but really like, like we're, we're all pretty fortunate, man. Every, yeah, a lot of you know us what are. I mean. I a don't have to get are. up in the yeah. morning and yeah. go shoe a horse before, right. uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, totally. yeah. Like, well, yeah. fuck the horse is sick. I guess yeah. we're going into town. <laughs> oh. today. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. I dude. guess the horse is sick. Holy shit! What are we gonna do for the rest of this? Yeah. You, you know, how are we <laughs> yeah, gonna get through totally. this? Yeah. You know, that's I guess insane. I better get the sigh out and start cutting that wheat myself. Yeah, you, man. You know, that's it's we're a wild. Pretty blessed. Yeah, we are. We are. It's easy to forget, dude. It really yeah. is for me even because I don't dwell on that. I mean, I might have days where I'm like fucking fucking kids are annoying me, whatever. Wife's annoying me, the whole deal. Yeah. But in the general scheme of things, I know how lucky I am that my wife lowered herself <laughs> to fucking accept me. You know what I mean? Like, so true. Yeah. She did for yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. Well, oh. I mean, you know. Yeah. Portia really I fucking stepped that. down. I already said that. A couple notches. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but there, I mean, you know, it's just the feeling of loss is a wild A couple feeling. of notches. <laughs> oh. Maybe six. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, um, something else you and I kind of touched bases on that, that I was looking into and stuff is this whole... Uh, was that Giswalda? What's her name? <laughs> what's that fucking Giswalda Maxwell? Oh, yeah. what's that? Galane? I, Galane. Oh I don't know. my That's what god, I've been dude! Just Lane Galane. Yeah, they're yeah. doing a fantastic job of putting that shit off on that dummy that. Oh, Epstein Didn't killed kill himself. himself. Yeah, it's all yeah. Right. It's oh wild. Oh my you, god! Have you looked much into it? I've been following I, the I, trial. I haven't followed the trial, but I was looking into some of the stuff and yeah. Like I was looking into the testimony from the housekeeper or the house manager mm-hmm. or whatever, and right. and reading what he was saying, and I'm just like, or the, pi- so, the fucking pilot, you know yeah. What I mean? But like, I'm just going on. Like I was, these people, and and it just has a, in no way, shape, or form. Like we'll, we'll get more into this because you know I'm right. not backing anything up. But I am listening to the or reading the transcript and reading stuff on what the house manager that managed all their stuff is saying. Right. And I'm like, mm-hmm. so you're working for billionaires and they're telling you to not say anything to people? Right. Right. Yeah, it's wild, dude. Like, but if I'm a billionaire and I got all this stuff going on. I'm going to tell you not to say shit. Like, this, what right. goes on in my house goes on in my house. It's my house. Shut the fuck up. Right. Like, and, and do I have to walk? Like, it's, I'm like, I'm like, if I'm at this level and I'm making this much money and I'm doing this right. much stuff, whatever, the, like, 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 there's levels to this stuff where these people are at this level and this is how they get to this level. Mm-hmm. They don't get to this level because they're best friends with their groundskeeper. Right. They right. don't get to this level they hire you to manage the house. Right. They don't hire you to be their friend. Right. When they tell you what goes on in this house stays in this house. Yeah. I don't. What is this? You know, in, like, what is it? 
is, uh, he's just he's just running down their business. Yeah, and he's saying like, well, when I got hired, they were like, hey, what goes on in this house stays in this house, and the article is like making it sound like. Oh, like, like it's a, a thing. Like, it's like, yeah, like it's like wait, a wait a minute. Thing yeah. for a billionaire to ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But what I what what I also get out of this, and and this comes from like looking into what other people have talked about, and people that were a little round, and how right now she everything is about him. Right. Right. Everything well, that's is the, the stuff that that's he their did. defense. Their defense yeah. is that she didn't know shit. Yeah. And she just worked for him. Yeah. And wasn't his right hand man. Yeah. And didn't fucking do anything yeah. like that. But the fucking the one chick testified today, Jane Doe. She's not okay. going public with her name, but she was seventeen. Yes. When she was there. Okay, yeah. She told accounts of <clears throat> being flown to Mar Largo to fucking mm-hmm. meet Trump. She didn't say he Trump did anything creepy. You know what I mean? But there's fucking I mean, it's so creepy. the The wild thing is, is that they're they are spinning it like, oh, she she was a poor subject of this this fucking maniacal psycho, right? Yeah. And obviously, I mean, everyone knows that she wasn't. You know what I mean? But that that she inherited it from her father. No, the their did partnership. She, did, no, I know. Yeah, but I you know, know that, that she her, has massive fucking her, ties. Her too. father. Yeah. Is the one that was that this is where all of this stuff a lot of came money. from. Well, that, yeah, that Les Wexler, dude, the guy from fucking, um, yeah, from uh, Epstein Victoria's was Secret. a fucking puppet. He had nothing well, to, you know, he, I think there's a CIA fucking element to it. He was, he was turning people for, for a political power, dude. You know what I mean? There's, okay, there's yeah. a lot of that. Like, there, I, he was, he was fucking taking people, putting them in bad situations. There's supposedly footage of all of it. That house is full of cameras on that. Of island, course, right. So, I think I think there's a. This is why you're not seeing it on the news. This is why you're not seeing. They're not covering a fucking no, ounce of it. Not they're at so all. They're so concerned about the Omicron fucking variant variant right now that just they're not filling it at all because this guy has every. I mean, the fucking uh, prime minister for Israel lived at his house. You know what I mean? Like for a long time, dude. You know what I mean? Like lived there. You know what I mean? Like this guy has fucking turned and gotten dirt on bill gates fucking donald trump bill clinton for sure you know what i, I mean, mean like, we, we, really honestly we don't even have to bring bill's name up in anymore more he was like he's a mute point he's been a mute point yeah like, but it's, I mean, I know, it does but everybody to hillary it you know does, what I mean? well like, there is that but it's still what cracks me up is is how often they say bill clinton right and when they say it they say it like like you guys like do understand that, like it's yeah. been twenty years, right? Since and we all know it. Right. Like everybody knows how often are you going to kick this horse? Right. Let's find other horses to yeah, kick. Yeah, but the implements are massive, dude. This no, is no, a I sitting agree. Present. I agree. You know, he had a picture of Bill Clinton in a dress painted on his fucking foyer, fifteen foot tall. You know what I mean? I like, don't understand the problem. Well, I you get know, it, but it's a I would sitting put, fucking present. Let's, we'll get you a dress. I'll put a two foot one in my living room. <laughs> That's fine. Dude. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm fine with that. But I also don't make decisions for the world. You know what I mean? Like, the crazy part is the the wild thing is is that they're spinning it like she's oh she was just a puppet of no that's this that's, guy yeah you know? and it's such bullshit because the girl gave accounts of being sexually fucking abused by her and him at at the same time. You know what I mean? And that's just the first one to fucking testify there's like four more because they're only covering tr- uh shit that happened from 99 to 2004 or something like that because it's it's the only like concrete shit they can actually get which is all like wild because they did after he got busted for being a fucking child predator the first time that's when he started making the massive world changing connections with the prince with fucking everybody you know what i mean so all these people bill gates fucking prince andrew all these motherfuckers knew he was a convicted sex rapist or a child rapist and they fucking still hung out with him still let him manage their money still let him fucking do all these things you know what i mean like taking hordes of children down to mar largo for the fucking trump's pageants shit like that you know what i mean like it's so fucking nasty and it's being spun like the qa nons are freaking out right now because that Trump was supposedly against this giant cabal of fucking child molesters. And now it's kind of coming out that no, I'm not saying that he did any of the child molesting, but he was a fucking rounded. You know what I mean? And he also was in charge of the Miss America pageants for children. 
You know what I mean? Like also Bill Clinton, Bill Gates, fucking every major dude in the fucking world. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Prince Andrew, all these fucking people are and at least fucking guilty of something. And none of that's ever going to come out, right? So so I it, <laughs> yeah, no, I, it's it's hard. I, I I'm I'm yeah. like I'm I'm like all of these guys didn't necessarily go after women that were younger. No, but they definitely went to fuck island. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and a, a so portion if of we those were billionaires. Girls, if you and I were billionaires, I'm not going to fuck island. I'm You're going to fuck mind. island. I, <laughs> I am going to fuck island. I I'm promise going, you, I'm dude. going to fuck island. I'm not going to fuck. I island. am going. <laughs> I'm going right now in my right. memory. I'm going right. to jerk off later on thinking about being at Fuck Island. Yeah, dude. Nowhere no. near some minors. Nope. Nope. Ain't happening. <laughs> but How do you know I'm, Fuck Island? I'm, Are you checking I'm IDs? Looking for Are you checking some, IDs at Fuck I'm Island? looking for some of them big Russian girls. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. uh, totally of age. Uh-huh. You know, I, if, uh-huh. I'm a billionaire, bro. Well, that's I'm thing, a billionaire. But here, I don't want to deal like, with the bullshit. These guys I got no lady fucking... at home. I love her, whatever. But... I'm a billionaire. I've got this personality that gets me to be a billionaire status. Billionaire status people, they do what they want. I know. They've worked hard to get where right. they're at, and they do what they want. And so if I don't necessarily want to go to Vegas and pay for it, mm. or I don't want to go to the what the fucking that honeydew ranch or whatever the fuck that. Oh, yeah. You, you know what I mean? Honey ranch or whatever. Yeah, whatever yeah. that is. Like, these are grown men with billions of dollars that right. want to go and have a I good time. I understand why So I understand, but I do understand like all this being said, like I don't see how like the whole, uh, like that underage thing. And like, I don't get that. Not only do I not get it. If I see somebody or hear somebody and they're like, Ooh, look at that. I'll be the first one to go. Hey man, yeah. the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, but the, I mean, 14 year olds and shit. No, that's where, you know what I mean? Like there's yeah. a fucking 14 year old that's, you know, with someone who was 14 years old being groomed and vetted. I, dude, you know I, what I, mean? I, like, I, it's fucking I'm not, crazy. I am dude. not talking about what Giz Twalta did. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't <laughs> care about that fucking twat. Yeah. Like she's a piece of shit and I really hope that she gets what's coming. Right. She's not gonna, I hope she does. I think she should spend the rest of her life in a prison. At least. Yeah. yeah b- bare minimum. She should yeah. spend the rest of her life in prison. Um, I, 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 she's a horrible human being. Mm-hmm. She knew what she was doing. She learned it from her father. But they, they created at, this. You'd fuck her at Sex Island. That's what you're saying. In you're front saying. of Epstein. <laughs> yeah. A hundred percent. Exactly, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I, I understand why it's there. but And yes, I would. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I get it. Yes. Man. Yeah, I get it. And and you know what the fucking thing is is a lot of these fucking guys are nerds, dude. They're fucking nerds, and they don't right. They're Bill Gates, fucking all these fucking world guy. Like they're fucking nerds, dude. And now you have this guy coming in going like, "Hey, you want to go to Fuck Island?" And they're like, "Yeah." And they don't even consider that every yeah. fucking room in that wait a house minute. is hold recorded. On. You know what I mean? So like, wait a minute, hold on. Get so, the fuck. So out of what here. you're saying is, you will put me on a private plane. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. You will put me on a private jet, mm-hmm. and you will fly me to an island mm-hmm. where I can go. Yes. Yeah. I. Both of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, this if, is why. This is why you'd be on the flight take, record, and I would not. Take. Hold on. I'm not. Hold there's on. No way. Take. Take. The fact that there's some sorry ass evil pieces of shit. Mm-hmm. The minor thing, mm-hmm. the underage thing, that's fucking horrible, dude. That's what this whole trial of, is about. That's what the whole trial is about. But there's still the other whole, like, that wasn't, everybody down at that island wasn't a minor. No, of course not. But. So, if you don't say, like, hey, look, I'm I'm taking you down there for this, and you're just like, hey, man, you want to go have a good time? Yeah, I understand I got why this, it happened. Huh? I got this, this look at this beautiful woman that's 26 years old mm-hmm. <laughs> she's down there waiting for you man yeah let's go i get it but y- you know the what i mean fucking, the wild thing is is that there's this trial going on this is going to be the only accountability for anything that's happened in the last fucking 20 years out there 
They're oh, not yeah, going to go yeah. after anyone on that fucking flight record, dude. Nope. I will be shocked. I will be fucking shocked if any one of those people besides her gets fucking busted for any of this, right? And and that's what everyone's asking. They're like, okay, well, obviously she's a fucking a nightmare. She is guilty, and whether she gets found guilty or not, I don't know. But I, I would assume it, she will because even the first testimony is, is wildly damning. But there is not going to be one ounce of accountability for anyone that participated in that fucking shit numerous times in a row. Even yeah. if you went one time, right, and you went to fuck but island. But if you went one time and you hooked up with a woman that's the same age as you. There's no way they're the same. They were all fucking 18 barely. There's there, it, maybe you know fucking in their mid twenties, dude. So do you you know the roster of the women? Yeah, I know. There? I fucked half of them. I knew it. I <laughs> no, knew no, it. but I'm just saying. Like, there's no way there was some old fucking bags on that island, dude. They were Victoria's Secret models, Miss Fucking America pageant winners. You know what I mean? Like, but that's those who it women was. are all eighteen plus. I understand. Yeah, it's gross. There's no, nothing. they're not minors. They're not kids. I know. So. If they're not minors and they're not kids and they're willing to do it, where's the problem? But if it's happening, it's definitely happening there if it's happening with him. I get all that. But if it my my only gripe about any of it. Right. Is the minors. Yeah, of course. It's the 18 and under. It's the 21 and under for me. And that's yeah, even. But it's not illegal. That's even a right, stretch. Right. If it's legal <clears throat> and consensual. Is it though? You know, well, I mean? like, I, I, it, look, that's a is whole it? nother conversation. Yeah. Like, is it? You know but, I mean? okay. But I, man, I, I, again, 18, I want to make sure that I keep reading that if they're 18 and above and they're adults, they can go serve in the military. They can go do all anything else they want to yeah. do. If they want to go down there to fuck Island and, and make some money. Why is that a problem? Well, and if, why, if, yeah. if 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 Epstein and Gustwatla, whatever the fuck, if she and him facilitate it for people, and it's not illegal because they're not minors, right? What's the problem? The problem other is that than been the minors being groomed since they were 16, 17 years old to go out there. That's 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 the fucking that's problem, that, and right? that's, that's where I keep, that's why problem. I keep saying the and whole, not only that like. You are a woman who's being offered wild amounts of money to go to some fucking place. And I'm sure they're not telling you you have to fuck these guys, but you get there and it's obviously that. Right? I mean, there has to be some sort of fucking peer you, you pressure. I, f- look, all man, that shit. You know what I mean? Like, 100%. It's just, I just, just, I just keep looking at it like, you know, like, like a feminist because I'm a feminist. So I just think that all women are just the same and capable as men. So if they have a problem with it, they can just say no. Yeah. That and they seems, can get out of it. It seems easy. Well, that's what everybody that's says. That's what happens. That's what everybody you know says, though. Happens, yeah. I don't care. It's what everybody says. Yeah. They keep pushing that agenda. Right. So if these women are, and, and again, if they're not minors and they're adults, mm-hmm. and You're I'm, I'm going to guess that the majority of, yeah, 100%. <laughs> You're for Fuck Island. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? As long as they're not minors. So long as they're not minors and they're consensual. Right. 100%. I understand that. If they're not minors and they're consensual, 100% of them for Fuck Island. Yeah. Why not? It's fucking Vegas. Yeah, I get it. You know what I yeah. mean? It's 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 it goes on all over the place legitimately. Mm-hmm. You know, if they made it legitimate to begin with, it wouldn't be such a problem. Well, I don't. I think where it was, there's no fucking real laws. Well, then anything you know except I mean? for yeah. the minor thing. I, I'm I, you know I I hate to have to keep saying that, but yeah, because we you're have to, to sound have, like a real pervert. Well, yeah. <laughs> yes, we've yeah. had this conversation. No, I, did. I understand that part of it, though. You know, but it's just so it's so fucking gross. Like, you know, what I mean, the like, only thing gross about it is that they were doing it with minors and they were grooming yeah. minors. No, that's, that's not fucked the up. And I hope that it. she. Yeah, it is. No, Other than it, that, dude, they're it's all such a bigger issue than the fucking dude. Oh it's, no, okay. It's now, such a now, okay. Issue uh, let me put my fucking. tinfoil hat on that. <laughs> because then I understand that too. Yeah, I do understand what you're saying about that other stuff as well. But the thing that I have where it to me is, is like, look, 
unless they're and if, as an adult, as a consensual adults, as they're all adults, and I'm gonna guess that there's a quite a few adults out on this island. I as would well, assume, yeah. Who gives a fuck? Right. Like they work their asses off. They do what they have to do. They're making. They're working way more than eighty hours a week. Sure. They're busting their ass. Every once in a while, they want to hop on a plane and go to an island and have a good time with no stress. If that's all it is, then that's fine. Yeah. But no, I do understand. It well, it's not what it is. Yeah. It's a yeah. fucking setup to be able to manipulate the fucking world. You know what I mean? That's the fucking gross part is that every one so of these So what you're saying is is the Bushes own it. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a bohemian grove. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 It's, just, it's just yet another fucking thing that goes to show you that every one of these fucking people is morally bankrupt horribly and can be manipulated and have no shit. fucking like yes. there's no hope for any of that like they no. literally like you can't like it's like besides the fucking the whole fucking process of being undermined and blackmailed and fucking all that shit and now these motherfuckers are building policy making products fucking all it's just it's so fucking gross dude it just it bums you. I, I mean, it, ugh, you know. It, and uh, I, I get it. You know, I understand the part, the island part of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the the bohemian fucking behavior that I totally get. Yeah. You know what I mean? The minor thing is disgusting. The minor thing you is know, and disgusting. And a lot of them were disgusting. groomed before they were fucking eighteen. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, and and the really sad part is the chick that testified today was like, her mom. She was dead. So, like, they found this girl that was beautiful at this fucking really prestigious, you know, private school. Her mom or her mom or her dad. No, her dad had already died. Her mom was fucking off doing whatever. Right. They figured out that she didn't have anyone to fucking rely on for advice, for help, for any of that shit. And they whisked her away to this fucking shit. You know what I mean? Like that that predator fucking type behavior is wild and i'm sure that it happened to a lot of girls that were in that same predicament but just happened to have their birthday on the right fucking day you know what i mean like so yeah there may be 18 but it's the absolute capitalization on someone's fucking you know there's not i can't i can't i'm not going to guarantee but i'm sure a lot of the fucking people that ended up doing shit there aren't stoked about it you know what i mean cuz the money fucking goes away and now they have you on camera fucking every gross fucking prince from here to fucking Saudi Arabia. You know what I mean? Like, and you can't say a fucking word because they're gonna just destroy you. But what if what if it was something where you made a bunch of money and you took that opportunity and and went and did something with yourself? Okay, how many of those fucking? I don't know. Why are you judging? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not, dude. I'm just you, saying. Do you not believe that women are strong enough to take like, care of themselves? The fuck up, dude. I'm yeah, just saying. No. Like, yeah. I mean, in this day and age. Yeah. With mm-hmm. all of the stuff that's put out there, mm-hmm. all of these, everybody's able to take care of themselves, yeah, male right. or female yeah. Yeah. or non-binary, whatever. Mm-hmm. They should be able to take care of that stuff themselves. Yeah, you're right. See, now you're just being condescending. And you're, being like condescending you're being condescending, dude. <laughs> fucking piece of mother. <laughs> fucking gross, dude. Yeah. No, I mean, of course. It's just, there's, I guarantee no one feels great about anything that happened there. Dude. We, you know we've all I mean? done stuff Besides we don't feel great about. Nasty shit. We like all that, don't you know? feel. We all have done stuff we don't feel great yeah. about. I don't. Uh, yeah, but not fuck you know? island. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. So he's for it. Just Lane's uh, innocent. She seems like a nice lady. God, I hope she rots in prison, dude. <laughs> no, you all don't. that. No, I really do. You just She's you're a trying to get on person. her good side so you can get out to fuck <laughs> island too. Electric boogaloo. They shut it down. I looked into it. <laughs> Can you imagine if just we showed up? We're like, what's up? We're here for Wait, Fuck Island. Where are we at? Yeah. Where are we at? Oh. Yeah, uh-uh. Nope. Get this guy out of here. There's no fucking crying at this register, you piece of shit. <laughs> And if you want to see more crying, you can catch me at 1091 Scandy <laughs> Avenue at the Garage Bar on oh, Sunday yeah, afternoons yeah. for Soul Sunday. I oh, love you guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> this fucking guy right here. Yeah. Yeah. There's no crying your way out of that one, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. You know shit. what I mean? Ugh, yeah, it's just fucking oh. gross, dude. But I'm, I'll be – this whole trial is a fucking sham. She might get busted. Oh, but, dude, come but, on, man. I mean, look, yeah. I, I – I, I, It's I, brutal, dude. Look – it's I, I, a lot weird. of this shit is just fun and funny as far as just like this is us having a conversation and right. 
you know, he killed himself. Yeah, of course he did. You know, and and now all of a sudden she's the victim. And, you know, the the her whole family the where they yeah, came from and what yeah, they did and how thing. all this stuff the whole thing and it's it's been going on forever mm-hmm. and it's never going away yep. and you know we'll all be worried about the omnivirus and we'll be worried about what Trump's doing or what Biden's saying mm-hmm. or whatever and when it comes down to the realities of what's going on in this world we'll all ignore it and look at our phones right exactly yeah. you know. And continue and to live about the how best lives we can live. Right. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. You know, my guy fucking carpal tunnel syndrome in my fucking thumb from playing Candy Crush. Life is hard. <laughs> you know what I mean? You play I'm not, Candy Crush? Oh, dude, it's, it's so bad. Oh it is God. so fucking bad. You know, my bad. wife is topped out oh. of levels in that game. That's possible? Yeah. My wife is like top ranked. <laughs> Like That's in the world, crazy, on that fucking dude. Game, dude. It's a bad. She had addic- to stop playing because they hadn't built new levels yet. I was like, this is nuts, dude. That's crazy. And that's how she is with that Simpsons game, the tapped out one. Have you done that? No. It's like Sims, but Simpsons. No. You build like Simpsons. No, dude. I'm not. Dude, she's like Candy Crush is bad enough. Yeah, it's, it is, it's dude. Bad, Rosie's dude. up there, dude. Like yeah. levels five thousand, whatever the fuck. Dude. It, 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 every <laughs> single insane. day. I think I need to erase this app off my phone, <laughs> you know, but it's mindless shit. Yeah. You yeah. know, watch my cooking shows and uh-huh. watch the, the final front or Alaska, the final frontier, mm-hmm. watch these guys actually doing work up there. Right. You know, I was watching the as guy you're, as you're playing candy. Yeah. 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 Dude, dude flipped over a forklift today. Oh, really? Picking up a log uh-huh. and not, not, not a little forklift. Yeah, a big it's one. a big old forklift, bro. Right. And he's picking up a log, and that thing fell over. And I'm like, <laughs> "Wow, this man, he's lucky he didn't get hurt." Life's Woo. tough. He just fuck. <laughs> fuck. Oh, I hate this. How fucking much money game. have you sunk into that fucking game? Don't worry about it. What the fuck? <laughs> So much. Why? Money, I bet. It, it's it's not so. It's it's not bad, but it every time I do it, it's I just I'm like I can't believe I just spent two bucks. <laughs> you know how I, I justify it by going is like, is. do you know how much more money I spend doing other shit that's way less healthy? Yeah. You know. Yeah. I'm trying to get so, out to fuck island, obviously. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, dude. We haven't should... even thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought about it. <laughs> no, uh-uh, ever uh-uh. going there, dude. Nope. I'm looking for the dungeon yeah, section. Dude. I'm going straight to the basement. Know. That shit's wild, man. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. I she'll be fucking. Even if she gets life in jail, it'll be it, nothing ever will come after. And that. and you know we I mean? will never. The only thing we'll ever hear is bullshit. We will right. never ever 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 hear the actual story. No, you know, and and I hundred percent agree with everything that you're. You're putting out there. A hundred percent agree with it. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I know. The whole pictures and videos and who's getting told to do what and what's right. happening and you know yeah, it's, this is shit it's that's ludicrous, shaping dude. the world. It it you know really I mean? like, you know, but that's the But we've known you know, about it for years. You got the Bohemian Grove, you got fucking yep. the Bilderbergs, you got all these crazy yep. fucking Doctor meetings. Evil. Yeah, Doctor Evil, we got Doctor Ock coming in now. Yep. Yep. You know what I mean? The multiverse is around. You know what I mean? New yeah. Spider-Mans are out. The whole fucking thing. What are we going to do when it's all multiverse? Like the, 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 the Metaverse? Well, metaverse. we can all go to Fuck Island. Would it matter? Is there an age of consent? Can in... we turn the garage into a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Is there an... Here's a good question. Is there an age of consent for fucking in the, multi... in the metaverse? Ugh. You know, that gets dirty, dude. Like, imagine you're fucking some super hot chick in the metaverse and you imagine, find out it's a 12 year old. Imagine. Like, really on the VR goggles. Yeah. Dude. Imagine that. What the fuck, that, dude? That you're non binary, so you're going to go with this one. And I see this one and I think that it's attractive and mm-hmm. I don't realize that it's actually you. Mm. Oh. That's not comfortable. Well, we'll Oof. probably be in the same room, so I Oof. would assume. <laughs> I got rough. Mm. That's gnarly. Like you'd be dressed in your little pink outfit with the. Quit talking all sexy. Rainbows. <laughs> talking so sexy to me. I don't like when you drop your voice like that at me, dude. It's 
fucking doing weird shit to me, dude. I don't like that. You're getting uncomfortable in your pants. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I'm going to have to fucking, I'm going to have to man spread on you. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about that, like, after this Epstein shit. Like, is there a consensual age in the metaverse? Dude? There's going to have to be. All right. They're going to have there? to figure it out. Yeah, there's going to have to be, man. How do you, you can't, prove it? Look, I, I don't fucking know, you don't. they you better don't. figure Every it out. Fucking they got to figure it out, dude. You got me at 14 years old. Mm-hmm. I, who knows what you can get me to do? That's what I'm saying. You know, yeah. I mean, there has to be something. That, it, uh, that's gross. Dude. That's 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 yeah. That's that, it, it's it's. it's I'm sure somebody's. I'm, I, I know somebody's thinking about it, and then somebody else is thinking about how to manipulate it. <laughs> right. Exactly. You, you know. Dude, yeah. yeah. That's fucking. It's gonna be a wild world, man. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Mm. What else is going on? This Still week? safer than the 20s. What? Right. Touche. This Hats weekend, off to Daniel Boone, who's a mighty, mighty man, great man. Um, <laughs> yeah. I have a. I'm going to a show this weekend. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. I don't really know too much about it. Uh, a friend of mine, Honey, is surprising me, and mm-hmm. we're going to L.A. somewhere, and I just. Have really, you she know, hasn't told you anything about it. Not, not too much, you know. I, it's starting to sound like an island, dude. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I got an island come up in my pants. Um, what's your last name, Maxwell? It's a, uh, a, you know, who lettuce is? No, but I, think yeah, I hate it. Quite it possibly, a they're a very talented jazz band. Oh, fuck <laughs> yeah, I on. fucking knew it. You're a horrible human. Yeah. I just. I, as much as I love Lettuce. and respect your fucking oh, they're great. Come on, they're fan, they're fucking a great I'm jazz sure band. They are. No, they they're they really. Do you know who Galactic is? Yeah, they're like Galactic. Okay, they're, yeah, they're really good. Terrible name. That's a terrible name. Lettuce. That's the band. Tongue. Name. Shut up. That's Coming a from word. tongue. Hold on. No. Hold on. We got we okay. Let's go with your. Let's go with the two names you got. Mm-hmm. The fucking wrath. Mm-hmm. And tongue. Yeah. And you're talking about lettuce? Yeah. I mean, what's lettuce, the difference between dude. tongue and lettuce? Uh, major difference. Where the fuck did you get tongue anyway? Tongue is a Swedish word. It's a Swedish word for heavy. So fuck you. Also, I like you, but also fuck you. Come on. All Come right. on. All right. Huh? So, okay, but... <laughs> lettuce. Are you Swedish? Yeah, I'm Swedish. Can't you tell? You said Swedish. I like that you said I'm Swedish. Yeah. No, it's just a fucking... It's a good word, dude. How long did it take you to figure it out? That tongue was a word for heavy? Yeah. Not long. You sure? Yeah. Well, we were going to be oh, called. Oh, that's right. Your, your wife's a teacher. She, she she's can read for you. Yeah. yeah. She, yeah. <laughs> I, I wrote, I actually tried to write the real word tongue and I spelled it T U N G and she looked at me like, yeah. I was she's like, oh, hey, dummy. <laughs> yeah. No, we were, we were originally going to be called Phantom Tongue, like T O, you know, T O U N G E. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, I, I'm tired of being in a band with, multiple fucking words and names you know what i mean because my old band was called ox versus thunderbird which wasn't a great name but it was heavy as fuck what was it called ox versus thunderbird ox yeah, versus it's not a great Thun- name oh i don't yeah. know i like that one yeah yeah, yeah anyway too bad. but uh i wanted it to be simple right so hey, i when when you guys practice you know like last thursday um mm-hmm. do you does is there a bus that shows up with bill benson <laughs> Because can like, he drive anymore? I know he's really old. <laughs> yeah. Does the guitar player can he yeah. see at night? I don't I, know. It's, he, it's debatable. Dude, dude, he's you know. Yeah. He was he was debatably old thirty years ago when I met him. He's one of those guys where you're like you find out how old he is and you're yeah. like, huh, are you Asian? <laughs> yeah. Is there some African yeah. in you? Because yeah, your man. skin's not cracking, buddy. No, dude. He's, he's fucking, a good looking man. He is for yeah. Yeah. He for doesn't age seventy. He's 70? at least 68. Yeah, yeah, okay. I yeah, I, mean? I, I, you know, yeah. he's up there, man. It's, it's, but, it, you know, arthritis, hands, all that stuff, he can still play. He still it's, plays, it's, dude. You know, he still plays does he wear a diaper? I can't. I've, I've, I've signed an NDA, okay. so I can't right. really say a lot, you know what all I mean? Right. He keeps it real tight-lipped, you know what Yeah, I mean? he says it's the only thing tight yeah. about him at this I, point. I'm not going to say that he has a picture of me in a dress in his foyer in his house, but I'm just saying it's I can't say a lot. You yeah. know what I mean? It's yeah. A, uh, he kind of groomed me. But, West Park you know I mean? Island. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you know, like the Tuskegee experiment. Yeah. Like that's what, it was kind of like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But no, anyway. Yeah. Speaking of riding the horses to school, good old Bill. <laughs> yeah. Bill Benson, dude. Yeah. Sure. Man, myth, the legend. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, enjoy your weird thing that you're going to go do. That I'm looking forward to it. Surprise. I'll have a report yeah. on it next yeah. time. Yeah. Check I guess. out Lettuce when you get a chance. I'm not going to do that. You can come down to the bar at 1091 Scandy Avenue and uh, I'll play it for you if I'm you'd like. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. The garage bar. Wonderful I've spot. I've heard of that. Yeah. yeah it's a yeah. nice, nice little clean spot yeah. Yeah. on the east end of Ventura. 17 year olds over there. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Just kidding. Wow. All above board, dude. Holy sh. Great guys. Yes. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Check out the merchandise, localshop.net slash get heavy podcast. Check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash get heavy. One dollar a month, get your ass in the door. These episodes go up about a week early. Uh, like, subscribe, follow, review, tell your fucking friends, hit the notifications bell. It fucking means a lot to me. I appreciate everyone this year um, that supported us. We just did our little year end fucking Spotify thing that apparently. People are half in and half out on and hate or don't hate. Um, but I am stoked at the amount of growth this thing has had. And um, I really look forward to doing more podcasts with our – with this guy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. New merchandise coming out. Yeah. we got new stuff coming, coming out. Up. We're going to be doing a lot of different collabs with people, and we're working on a bunch of different stuff. All right. Hopefully, you guys we'll, – we'll eventually we'll get a little store get set up and, mm-hmm. and, and start some selling some more stuff and – but we have some really interesting things we're working on and and talking to different people and trying to get different stuff going. If you're a local artist and you want to come up with something and maybe talk to one of us, DM us. We'll see what we can do. We'd like to do some different shirts and hats and, mm-hmm. you know, whatever we can to get stuff going on out there. So we, pretty soon we'll have a store going so you guys can come check out some of this stuff. And, Hell yeah, dude. you know, looking forward to it, you know. Yeah, we We're got big plans. Two dudes. pretty much fucking geniuses right here just ready to rock it, you know. That's what's up. All right, guys. Bye.